guys, Cool Dud here. So I am here with a very special and exciting unboxing of a new headset I finally got. If any of you watch me on Twitch, you'll know that I broke my headset for the second time. This isn't just like a normal, you know, breaking of the headset. This was ridiculous. It didn't just break randomly or in like a normal spot. That is the worst spot you could have broken. Do you see this? I tried tape, as many of you said for me to do, but it just, it didn't work. I did a lot of research on headsets that were very stable in the adjustment part because the adjustment part on this was very finicky as you can see. If I pulled on it a little bit, it just, it wouldn't be good. So I found a headset. I'm sure you guys know the Siberia series from Seal series. The adjustment area is very stable and I've seen a lot of reviews. I was very unsure on getting the V2 or the V200. A lot of people were doing mixed reviews. I was, I was a little confused about it. Reviews, confused. <laughs> okay. I got the Siberia V3 gaming headset, which I'm very excited to show you guys. I literally just got it in the mail. Deanna picked it up for me from the post office, which is pretty awesome. It's beauty. It's so pretty. This looks very safe, I know. I make a lot of people nervous when I hold the scissor. So, if I made you nervous, I'm sorry. God damn it. It's opened. This is a big fail. This should just be titled, Carla doesn't know how to open a box, because that seems more accurate. Everyone, calm down. This, I know I look like I have no idea what I'm doing, but you're right. If I didn't have freaking jump cuts, I, I don't know where I'd be. I don't know. Somewhere in an alternate universe where YouTube doesn't exist. For me, at least. I don't know how I'd survive that world, but... I don't deserve to be in it if there's no jump cuts. 30 years later. Got it! Why? Why is this so difficult? God damn. By the way, sorry if the audio is very crap. It was very hard for me to get the microphone linked with the video. So I just decided to use the mic on my camera, which is good, but it's just not as focused if I was using, you know, my nice blue snowball here. But it's just difficult. I'll get to a point where I'm skilled enough to do that. Today is not that day. Oh, it looks so pretty! It's just so sleek and matte and beautiful. Ooh. Okay, so it comes with this little... Let me not break this one, please. It comes with this little envelope that says Steel Series, the cool matte stuff. Here it is! It's very beautiful, and I think it'll be a very nice addition. The leather is very soft, much softer than I expected. It kind of feels like memory foam. I think it is memory foam. I think it said that in the info, because I'm used to the mesh. For a gaming headset, it apparently is the best, and this is what I would have. That's just mesh. And from experience, I have put on a headset that was leather, and it made my ear holes hurt a lot, especially after hours of gameplay, which is why I need this headset. So I was a little nervous about this purchase, but it said it was memory foam, which I liked a lot more. Let's test it out. And also, apparently the suspension right here is the best for gaming because regular headsets kind of like press onto your head, which make it hurt after a while. So I was very excited about the suspension because apparently it just like puts all your weight onto this, so I'm excited about that. And it looks pretty styling, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna put it on my ears because, you know, that's what you do with headsets. Ooh. Ooh, I can't hear anything! This is really good. I like it. And a lot of people complain that this would be not great because it's not actually adjustable, but it, it is. Because if your head's really big, band will get bigger. And if your head's small, it'll just stay. And I have a pretty small head, so I'm pretty happy about it. I am gonna say, you can't hear anything. So I might be very loud, so excuse that. For gaming, it's very, I'm sure it's very immersive. I like the style of it. I like black everything. My past headsets were white. Didn't really match my style, but I like that it glue, glowed. I don't know if that's a word. It also comes with a wire. I think it's just an extending cord. It has like the blue and red extending thing. I have a headache right now, but it's not because of the headset. It's because I just had a pretty crazy event where I actually got tickets that I wanted to get, so my head's kind of jumbled right now. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so one thing that I must say about this is that it's not a USB, it's aux. And apparently USB is better for sound and gaming. 
Whoa, it works. I like this better than my USB headset because the USB headset would literally like get caught in my chair and that's basically how it broke actually. Because I was trying to move my chair, I didn't realize the wire was stuck and it was so long of a wire that it always got stuck and it, it just broke. But this is like a good distance, it's not too short and I really like it. I think it looks pretty styling. Black goes nicely with orange. Let me test something. I don't think these are the ones that change color. My old headsets did change color. Ooh, it comes with Steel Series. You, you can't see that. You still can't. I mean, I honestly can't even see it, so. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it comes with a CD. I don't think it has any drivers. Hello! Now I feel like a flight attendant or somebody on surveys. Wow, I feel really intense right now. Uh, oh, I shouldn't do that. Okay. Oh, you could. there's a microphone mute button? That's cool. Okay. Cool beans, cool beans, whoa. So maybe I could record on here instead of my camera because that will be more focused. I did hear that there's a lot of bad complaints about the mic just fucking up. So yeah, I mean, I might just use the camera or I have a blue snowball so it wasn't a main concern when buying a headset. I just wanted ones that fit well and look pretty nice. I usually put hair, wait, let, let's see. Oh shit, I feel so intense. Am I a real gamer yet? The world will never know. So yeah, I was gonna install drivers, but I don't think there are any. Let's see, actually, because I do have drivers for Steel Series, because I have a mouse from Steel Series. Yeah, I do. I have a mouse from Steel Series. This is the mouse. It's pretty good. I mean, it's nothing. In t I don't need anything intense. I don't play League, so I tried to see how it would be. Let me listen to music real quick. I mean, I don't expect the bass to be crazy good, but we could check it out. I'm excited. Let me put on a song with a lot of bass. Ooh, it sounds good. So as you can see, this headset is Carla approved. So, the bass is awesome. I'm not going to expect high quality audio because it's a $69 headset. If you want great audio, you're going to get like a Bose headset or a Sony. Really high end stuff. I was just looking to be able to listen to music and have comfort after long hours. And throughout this video, I've had a lot of comfort. And it's just a cool headset. It looks awesome. Like, I look pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. So, I hope you enjoyed my unboxing of the SteelSeries Siberia V3. I hope that this is good information for those who are contemplating headsets because I was contemplating between the V2, V2 V200 and the V300, not 300, V3. So yeah, if you're looking for long hours and you're looking for comfort, not so much a mic, I would really recommend getting a standalone mic and a decent pair of headsets because I just don't think that the mics that come with headsets are good quality. I am just really looking for the comfort and just the style of it and I think these are great for that just don't get these if you're looking for a mic just get a standalone mic snowball is like 50 to 60 bucks I know the really like the elite one is like over 100 I'm not really looking for that this snowball is great I have a standalone uh, mic and the, the stand that comes with it it's pretty good because you don't have to have the stand with the snowball, you literally just talk and it's right there. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. I hope I helped you out with your decision making process. And I hope you just enjoyed the video. Yeah, have a great Friday. Bye dudes.